what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, I'll let your boy when we get home. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella sent you. Get 18% off. We out. All right, Uga sets the record straight on him ducking, or allegedly him ducking Earl Spence. There were some rumors out there. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video, thumbs up, uh, or thumbs down if you don't like it. I'm cool with either or. Shout out to Dr. Blick for sending this to me. Y'all make sure to go check out Dr. Blick YouTube channel. That's my man, right hand, left hand, 100 grand. So it was some rumors out there before we read it. Um, it was rumors out there that uh, or Dennis Ugas wanted too much money. He wanted 50-50 to take on Earl Spence. Remember those rumors that was out there? So he wanted 50-50 to take on Earl Spence or something like that. And that's why Spence, people said that Spence chose Manny Pacquiao. And, they took, and also they said they took too long. They took too long. He took too long to kind of, uh, hold on. Hold on, let me, uh, he said something like that. But yeah, it took too uh It took too, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm reading something he said, but uh get together. Here we go. But yeah, they said it took too long for him to sign the contract. He wanted 50 50, so that's why Pacquiao swooped in. But you gotta understand Pacquiao has several other options. People forget Pacquiao was trying to fight Ron. He's trying to fight everybody but Spence and Crawford. Alright, remember Crawford would have got the fight if Bob would have put the money up. But he was trying to fight anybody but Spencer Crawford. And he was trying to fight Ryan. That's why Ryan had gotten into trouble because he spoke too early. He was supposed to go on like at 140. Uh, then it was rumors of him fighting Conor McGregor. He addressed those rumors in the... His team addressed those rumors in the in the, um, the lawsuit little thing on ESPN. Then it was talks of him fighting McGregor. Ryan Garcia was somebody else. Mikey Garcia. So those just what we do on the surface about Manny Pacquiao. Okay? Um, no telling who else he tried to fight. Uh, but and don't forget, guys like Josh Taylor would call him out. Pretty sure if Jose Ramirez won, he would have tried to fight Manny Pacquiao. So there's no telling what Pacquiao tried to do. But at the same time, um, you also got to look at it as Spence said he got two more fights at the division. And I told y'all, it was a rumor going around, a really good rumor, that um, really strong rumor, that Canelo was going to fight Plant first, Benavidez second, then third, it was going to take on Errol Spence. So think about it. Spence fighting August. Canelo will fight in September. Well, now November, right? Then Spence come back, fight Ugas for the title. And I'm gonna tell you some more intel about Ugas too, about that title too. He come back and fight uh So Canelo come back, he will Canelo fight in November. Let's say they get the plan deal done. Then he will come back and fight Benavidez or fight again. Alright? And Spence will take on Ugas. And then after them two fight, under the contract or three fight deal that Canelo did agree to and then renege. Then, won't be no Crawford, won't be no Thurman. He will come out and fight Can uh, Canelo Earl Spence. So, um, so, you know, I think, well, let's read the comment. It says, quote, Dennis Ugas on his Twitter. Shout out to him. I had signed a fight against Spence for many months. So the fight was, he said, done. Pacquiao came back and took that fight. I have nothing against Spence. I take a bigger fight. And against a legend, he said he would basically translate a little disconnect. He said he would took Pacquiao too over Spence, basically. All right. If he don't uh, doesn't underestimate Pacquiao like Thurman did, I think he would win uh, the biggest victory of his career. So um, then Ray Jackson, he always around. Shout out to Ray, man. Ray got some, some exquisite taste and some pussy on Twitter. No offense to him, but you be seeing him talk about like what he like on Twitter, man. I'm like, man. Ray put you in the right direction. He was on a uh, shout out to uh, Boxer with Nike. He was on the verses too. Shout out to all of them. Ty, everybody on there. But he asked in the comment section, why didn't he fight Thurman? They said Thurman wasn't ready. But um, so basically they said that, he said that fight was signed, agreed to, they're supposed to fight for many, many, for many months. And it didn't happen. And Pacquiao came in and took that fight because Pacquiao didn't know which way to go. Pacquiao. This fight is hard to me. He didn't know which way to go. So uh um, But at the same time. It ain't Ugas fought. It ain't for, it his fault. Thurman ain't ready. Ain't no fault. Spence ain't want to fight him. Spence for, went for the money instead of for the belt. And I ain't mad at him. 
But I think it was some talk going around there that that Al Heyman didn't want Ugas to get stripped. That he wanted Spence, you know, do another fight with Spence so Spence can get a belt. So, like I said, they have no plans on fighting Terrence Crawford. Even if he crumbling across the street or not. You know, you hear him on ESPN with Bart Scott saying that, you know, they, you know, they working on the Sean Porter fight, see what happens to go to purse bit or whatever. But they don't have no plans on fighting him. Spence gonna fight Pacquiao, Ugas, and then like the plan is to move out of there. Cause after he fight Ugas and get three belts, he's not gonna fight Spence. Who he gonna fight? So, um, you know, it is what it is. Ugas is just a casualty of boxing politics. But if they couldn't get Thurman, why didn't they just do Crawford? Come on, why they just didn't fight Crawford? We already know why. They starving Crawford out, and everybody want to talk about uh. Spencer, I never disrespect the black fighter. Everybody has this, uh, everybody, uh, what you call it? Everybody just, uh, give Al Hammond the benefit of the doubt. He pro-black time and time again. He showed that he ain't pro-black. He, he went plant been to be that Spence with his three-fight deal. Why Charlo went in that deal? Come on. Why ain't you trying to get Charlo to fight? Let's keep it a humbun. So, like I, like I said before, Al Hammond ain't pro-black. Not who guys got to fight Fabian Madonna. Like, we want to waste our time on that shit, but. It is what it is. But I heard that Al, Al Hammond want to just make Ugas keep that belt. So Spence can have somebody else to fight. If Spence fought Pacquiao, they had three belts. Where are you going to go? Castano, Charlo and Castano take interim fights. So think about it. Charles, Charles and Castano take interim fights. Then they're probably going to rematch with each other, right? If they drop a belt to keep a belt, right? They're probably going to rematch. So, if Spence fought Ugas right off the bat, and he beat Ugas for the three belts, then where are you going to go? Maybe fight Manny Pacquiao. They say this might be Pacquiao's last fight. They say Pacquiao, just say, I'm going to fight Mikey. I'm done, right? Then, once he had three belts with Pacquiao, not back out there, the fans going to demand him to fight Crawford. But in that scenario, I would have took Sean Porter or one of the other fighters and tried to make a fight with Spence. I mean, make a fight with Crawford and buy some time. But at the same time, I mean, it was a whole bunch of rumors come out there saying that uh, that Ugas, you know, uh, asked for too much money. Ugas, he said he signed. So he dispelled those rumors. He wanted to fight, and he got railroaded, you know. And he, somebody said, so basically they gave you some step-aside money. We can dig it. Shouldn't negotiate it with Crawford or Thurman. If I was step-aside agreement, how you going to let them save – uh, say you for Spence, come on, man. He said, I'm not a fighter to take, I'm not a fighter to take money, not to fight someone. So basically, he said, he ain't got step aside. We are the same PBC team. Now I'm going to defend my championship that night against another fighter point. So he responded to that. And um, basically, he said, he didn't take step by something because they're on the same team. And that's fucked up. He don't even get another premier fight because Keith Thurman wasn't ready. But it's good. Like, you going to the court, get you a layup, you get the title defense. He beat Fabian Madonna. He got more title defenses than Tyson Fury ever had. So, um, good. Hope they pay him well for Fabian Madonna. Hopefully, he get a uh, seven-figure payday. And um, that's messed up. But Al Hammond, Al Hammond, they just run that shit like a mom and pop shot. I told y'all. They run that thing like a mom and pop shot. It's just whatever go with the flow. And Pacquiao should be the hell up out. Pacquiao... Should be the hell up out of uh He should be the hell up out of uh boxing. When he lost to Jeff Horn, they should have been like What was the Rocky the second one? You're out! Dun, 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 you know. But that's the game, man. Ugas is just and then you know black fighters and you know, you don't want to say Cuban, but they basically in the same boat as Dominicans, black fighters and Cuban fighters. They gotta get the raw end of the stick. That's messed up. That's messed up, but, um, you know, that shit wild. But I, I ain't really got no issue with it. Do they thing. Ooh, guys, hopefully getting paid a million for Madonna, Fabian Madonna. And uh, hopefully do what's stuff up, man. But, um, I mean, so Spence and Ugas are hurt as next. The plan was for Ugas to take on Thurman. They said Thurman wasn't ready. If that's physically making weight. In the gym, I don't know. And then he's on a uh, post take on Thurman and Ugas. And then that winter post take on Pacquiao Spencer. Right now, don't look like it's going to happen. So, unfortunately, uh, the win Ugas is going to probably beat Madonna and take on Spencer. And by the the contract that Canelo could have got, like Spencer, they going to fight Crawford. So, 
it ain't like boxing fans gonna hold his feet to the fire. And, that, and that's a shame because 20 years ago, 15 years ago, you didn't hear boxing fans or you didn't hear you didn't hear um casual fans talk like this. They wanted to, Mayweather started that shit. I ain't saying he started ducking, but Mayweather started that shit. You know, um you hear him like the Pacquiao, you know, um, um Pacquiao, um, um he ain't trying to fight, he ain't trying to Come on man, just talk about how whole whole coward Floyd was. Y'all say this nigga implemented you Olympic style drug testing for Pacquiao because he was scared to fight him. You know, but hey, at the end of the day, that's his that's his life. I can't tell a man how to uh how to uh how can I say it? I can't tell a man how to put his life on the line. But uh it is what it is. Shout out to uh Shout out to uh to Ugas, keep your head up. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to your video requests, business question, inquiry, response, advertise on the channel, Twitter, the fast way, and Facebook, and Instagram. Facebook group link there as well, too. Want to make a financial donation? Shout out to Vinny Ochoa for the cash app, CJ Good313. Venmo, CJ Good313. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Shout out to Box News playlist and the Welterweight playlist. And also, for people saying why he didn't negotiate with Crawford before, like I'm gonna say 2019, him and Crawford was in negotiations in, uh, I think, I think they offered Ugas a million or some shit or whatever they offered Ugas, he went away more. Bob Barron didn't want to pay, so another, another strike for Al Hamp for Bob Barron. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Peace.